This video is made available by the Computer Science Department at Brea College under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. Alright, so we are going to write a function that consumes a biped and returns true if that biped is taller than this biped. So let's go up here. We're going to write a new function. It's a biped function. And it has a return type of boolean because we're returning true or false. Right. And the name of the function is, uh, let's see, it uh, returns true if I am taller. So am I taller than, <coughs> that'll, that'll do, am I taller than. So it's going to return true or false but I need something to compare against. So I need a parameter, and it's going to be a biped. And, uh, we'll call this someone else. So there we go. Am I taller than someone else? And I return true or false. So I'm going to have to ask a question. If, oh, it doesn't give, I just have to pick something. All right. So if this is true, then well, we'll, we're going to have to fix this middle bit. But I'm going to do this first. Add some comments. I'm going to say, I am taller than someone else. That's what happens if it's true. And if it's false, I am shorter than someone else. All right. So the comments tell me what's going to happen in each of these places. And we said that it will, this function will return true, <clears throat> excuse me, if I am taller than someone else. So let's put that in now. We're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to have to return false. All right, so that means that if I am shorter, this is false. Now, here's the neat thing. I need to ask if I am taller. So that means I need to be able to compare things, maybe like this. Hmm. I need to say, am I taller? So I'm going to need to put something into these question marks. For now, though, I'm going to put two numbers because I can replace each of these, but I need the greater than, really. So if I am taller, so I'm going to come over to these functions, and I have to make sure that I am dealing with functions of, of a biped, and I am. Where's taller? Where's my height? Ah. <clears throat> so I can say, if this dot get height, so if my height, the height of this, is greater than, well, the height of some width, I, I messed that up bad. Um, get height. Am I taller than someone else is wide? That makes no sense. Um, we hope so. So if this dot get height is greater than someone else's height, and if that's true, then I'm taller. Otherwise, return false. <clears throat> so how do we use this? We had to come over here and we've got uh, we've got three people now. We've got Binky and Michael J. Fox, he was the Teen Wolf, and Bob. So I'm going to say if and this is uh, if Let's see. Let's see. I have to replace my boolean here, and this function returns a boolean, so I can use it as an in and if. If Bob is taller than Binky, then I'm going to make him say, I'm taller. And otherwise, I'm going to make him say, I'm shorter. So if Bob is taller than Binky the cat, he should say, I'm taller. Let's try running it. I'm taller. Hey, that's pretty good. 
But what if someone else is Michael J. Fox? I'm shorter. Awesome. Um, so the important thing here is we wrote this function called am I taller than that consumes a biped and it returns a boolean. And when I say it returns, it means this whole piece right here that I'm clicking on. That whole thing becomes true or false based on this stuff in here. We're going to do more of that uh, in class. <clears throat> and if you're watching this after class, uh, hopefully we did this in class.